Okay audience, so today we're at the Hill of Tower and we were really, really fortunate, divine providence, who knows. We've been able to watch today the anchoring of energies by two druids. I've been to Skellig Mikey. So you, you Skellig Mikey. So I presume you've done more, more, more than this place then, you We like, started at Skellig Michael. Cool. We started and Michael's at Skellig day. Michael and then like activating like ancient sites. Um, yeah, it's all about with a shift of energy. She, she's happy. Yeah, she is, she's, 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 she's the, the trial anchor. Now, the team itself is more than likely Neolithic, but I'll have to ask them their opinion on this because they might slightly, know slightly more. This would have been a grave originally. Now, it claims to be the, was it the Mound of Nile or something like that. Whether or not it is, it's probably pre exist that audience on this one. Now, if you see these objects here, we've got crystal on the floor, key for anchoring energies. Give a look. We've got an acorn, I think this here, it's either a different, it's like a volcanic stone or maybe some resin or something they've done. And then we see this stick here, audience. If you look here, we've got different symbology. We've got the stag, we have the raven, the snake. Then we have here more traditional Celtic symbols on this side. I'll ask them when they come back, the druid, I'll ask the translation, but I think these are Viking runes. The whole purpose of this audience was to anchor energies. So when the druids come back, we're going to ask them precisely how this works. But yeah, audience, this feels very privileged to do this. And yeah, audience, we've got boots on. This woman did this with no shoes on. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't, audience, we do not want to touch anything because um, when the ceremony was happening, we all had to be very silent when it was going mm. on. And personally, I don't know whether you guys felt it, it but I felt something seriously, I did. They were, Obviously you'll see it in the previous video, but they were howling into the cave. There seemed to be like a hum, shouts and howls. Communicating with the dead, anchoring energies. Yeah. Again, we could have come here and just seen this audience, but this is this is brilliant timing. You know what she would do? Like I said, they were trying to anchor energies. Now this this dance, this must be part of it. Like I said, after they'd done it they seemed happy, didn't they? They seemed like that there'd been a big release. Yeah, she was very happy. Yeah, she seemed really ecstatic about it. I mean, I, again, I felt something. I don't know what it was, but like I said, these, these guys seem really ecstatic about what they've done. And uh, she def defined us being here as divine. Yeah, they, well, when we, when we asked them, are we okay observing it? Because some people don't like you to observe the religious things. We, the only precondition was we had to have silence. So that was very difficult for us, we wanted to ask loads of questions. But now audience, this is going to be interesting. It looks like we've got some music coming, so let's see. Are you possible once you finish, are you okay explaining like um, exactly what this exactly what your ritual is? Things like that. Can I, can the details. I, can I get the footage of that sin? By all yeah. means, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we'll that give you the copy of the footage. Because, because we haven't got any like shoes on our cameras anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all a bit magic. <laughs> we'll be quiet again while we do this. So basically, when I, 
when I when I when I play my drum, I channel energy from above, and this energy makes the walls of the buildings reverberate. And these vibrations go straight into the ley line, straight into the planetary grid. When you were all howling, you know, like when you you were shouting something, weren't with, you? With that, we felt it. Now, is that a reverberation from the tomb we're feeling? Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and the ley line energy and stuff. Yeah. But it's, it's, I was stunned. I'm a bit of a scientist. I felt something. I felt affected by that something. Was a lion's roar. It was with the with the with the with the lion's roar. We prepare the grid for the energy which we are about to give it. So, like tuning in. We become vessels for what comes from above to be anchored in the energies. Yeah. 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 We'll maintain silence what we get on with it. Yeah. St. Patrick and what they did with the magic of the land, how the kind of the crown used St. Patrick and, and, and all that stuff to take the magic from the Irish people away. Now we are here to bring the magic of the Irish people back and it's all like literally you've got no idea where they're coming from. Well, it, uh, <laughs> well, I don't, don't want to look I don't want to claim to know a lot but no, no, I kind no. of half do on this one. Why, why are you guys here? Why? Well, making anthropology documentary. Strangely enough, you guys are perfect for this. Because <laughs> we, we could have stood in front of that and told about this, but we saw it. We saw it. And again, you, you get it. this. <laughs> and we're going to feel blessed to partake in this. And it's, we're it's, it's, it's all like so, so, so we are on a mission by Archangel Michael. We're living through, like, we're living through a fairy tale. <laughs> and when we come here to, like, oh, we, we bring the magic back to the Irish people and, and then I end up on a beach and on this beach I lose a tooth and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And I'm like, huh? And, and, and <laughs> oh my. It, it, yeah. it, it came out without any pain. Stones. Interesting. And, and then I'm like, why did that? Because everything happens for a reason. I'm like, why did yeah. that tooth fall out? And I'm like, well, it just fell out, like, but painless. And I'm like, huh? And then I, like a day later, I walk around that same beach and I see a sign 
with a monk holding a tooth next to another monk. Oh. And I'm like, again, isn't it? And I'm like, what's that? And I'm like, oh, St. Patrick lost the tooth on this beach. And then oh. I'm like, oh, and I need to like, oh, let's have a look at the church, like the, the ruins of the church. And then I went to the ruins of the church. So you were called then? You didn't choose, you were called. Oh, everything. So, everything. You, so what did you do prior to the tooth? Did you, did you have it were you completely normal? Were you like this always? Or like, did the tooth fall out and then result in this? How did oh, you go? he's been on this pilgrimage path for a few years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? I mean so this, this is like, what, clarification of the tooth fall out, what your mission was. That's not the original. Because how do you get called to do this? You know what I mean? Are like you oh, born into like, it? Are you called? Uh, tuning into the drumming? Tuning, tuning into like, the grid? It is, it is my, I found my soul purpose. That's all anyone wants. To, to to like place, this, is, this is what I come here to do. This is what we come here to do. So do you, do you visit other sites in Ireland? Oh, we like I've got. So I've been. Uh, I'm, in April, I was told to let go of my life, like work life, stop working, and only focus on that. Then I knew I had to go to Skellig Michael to start this pilgrimage. Like uh, it's like light up the world. We will light up the world with St. Michael's Tower vibrations. That's something that started in Glastonbury using the vibrations, the reverberations of Glastonbury Tor in 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 like churches to anchor the light into the planetary grid on a global scale. No, I mean this. this uh, I would just, uh, just notice from your accent. Are you Scandinavian? I'm German. German. Because uh. we noticed some rooms on the thing. I mean, we're we, wondering, like, say, oh. uh, not on the stick. I mean, like, oh. the rooms at the bottom. Oh. Oh. I was gifted this from this lovely forest over here by ah. a man, Tommy O'Sullivan. We've got to make a move yeah. because we've got to go yeah. to Bruno yeah. Point. Yeah. We've got yeah. an Can appointment. Can we book one, one moment your time? Then? So oh, yeah. the, the stick was brought from what kind of wood is it? Alder. Alder Loves the water. Yeah, and I imagine you've done all this yes. yourself. No, he gave, gifted it to me like that. So the stag, oh. the, the raven, raven spirits that we have here today, and the yeah. serpents. What, what and you explain these what are, these are precisely? Like earth, oh. air, fire, water. Ah, four elements. And this, and I think this means trust you can do it or something along the lines yeah of believe that. you can do it yes yeah, I think. you can do it yeah, uh, yeah. the quick question as well the um the big the stick itself this thing uh, what what purpose does this serve in it this what, what is, is it made um, of this is um a phoenician juniper Ooh. with an angelic presence as you can tell she's an angel an earth angel and and where this goes in it's like a, a shape of my body <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> and i've been given that like as this is this is what protects me it's, it's a bit like, um, there was a guy in the Bible, what was his name again? Oh, tell them about the Queen, and you're English, yeah? Tell them yeah. about the Queen and the Thorn. Well... This is all healing between England and Ireland as well, like massive ah. scale, massive, massive. That's an interesting concept, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. And we're we're, releasing, the shackle, the we're world, releasing the shackles that the crown held upon the land. Yeah. And, 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 this and is a part like, of the, it, the it, thorn, it's, 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 the holy thorn. I, I injected. I injected. I was uh, guided to inject um, this piece of wood with a um, uh, holy thorn from Glastonbury. It's been right. planted with the green. The fairy tree. Like, it's all a bit magic. Thorn from the fairy tree and stuck it in this. Yeah. yeah. This this tree. This, so this tree used to be given to the queen for a Christmas to have for the table and for a crown, a thorn crown as well. It was a major prestigious time for the. Oh, we, and we, Joseph we, we, of Arimathea planted a staff in on the hill of on Wirial Hill in Glastonbury, yeah. and it was from generation of that the genetics of that same tree. Oh, <laughs> oh so it's, 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 it's so like this, the cutting of the stick. This, yeah, New Jerusalem, oh, heaven on earth. This, this tree is <laughs> like biblical we've been, stuff. We've been anchoring the New Jerusalem in Avalon with a, with the whole tabernacle of the New Jerusalem, and I injected this tree with the magical powers of the crown. To the magic back. The crown's the passing so the, so the, so the Operation the crown's, Unicorn. Yeah. Ah, so the crown's been, the crown's gone, Unity. the magic went. So then you're saying you're trying to bring this back here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. By all we, we bring the magic back to the people. It belongs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we ask a quick question? The waters and the rivers and the guardians of the land. Quick question, the rock you've got. What purpose does that make? So you showed us the taste, didn't you? So um, we saw that a, in the airport. Uh, the triple double terminated smoky quartz with lepido croquet to link with the angelic realms guiding our way. It does have a frequency, doesn't it? All, all rocks do, don't they? So yeah. Yeah. We, we, we really have to make a move. We've got to go yes, to the beach. Yes, yes. Yeah, we will not keep you anymore. Sorry. 
Thank you so much. Lovely yeah. to meet you guys Thank you. and blessings on your journey. We, we're Thank just going to go to that stone. We're going to cross magical view. We're just going to oh. go to that stone and then we're going to go back to the van and we need to exchange details. We're just going to... Yeah. Yes, yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. Oh, you can check oh, out course. You can check out the frequencies on, on YouTube, 7K. Ah. Yeah, that's Light of the, the World. There's a YouTube channel as well. So wow, yeah. Yeah. we can connect. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so my, my YouTube channel is like 7K and then yes. if, you, if you Google in 7K, the number 7 and the K, and then light up the world so and I'll, I'll bring you to what we do but for now we've got blessings, to go there blessings. yes then we'll see your mission never and then stop. and <laughs> then and then we're gonna we're gonna catch up with you to give you the details yes you're gonna be thank you you continue yeah well audience that is it still filming yes, yes of course well audience we have felt so blessed to do this this again what an interesting tale they've got to tell us the crown's gone from ireland the, there's hatred the energies have gone and they're trying to bring it all back together they're trying to get rid of the hatred trying to be peace i mean noble cause noble effort and again i wish them so well in what they're doing that is amazing again we could have just took a picture of this and it's still interesting what we're seeing here but that that and again something else audience like there are only two of them and drums and everything but imagine thousands of them up here the, the noise the crescendo it, it must have been something else so yeah um we are very, very fortunate. Again, divine providence. If we'd have been here yesterday, we'd have missed this. We'd have been up there late, we'd have missed it. And like those druids said, it was destined to never pass with us. So happy audience, yeah. <laughs>